Hey what's up everybody this is your nutritionist on the go Kamal Deep Singh Aujla from Erodite Nutrition uh, if you guys haven't liked my Instagram or Facebook page I request you guys to it ASAP do not miss on the healthy content okay so today our topic for the weekly awareness campaign okay it is PCOD polycystic ovary disease or some might say PCOS that is polycystic ovary syndrome so we will be discussing what is PCOD and what are the effects of PCOD and what is the medical malpractice the you know non-ethical things that doctors do to patients with PCOD okay now this is a female related disease so any male watching that video and thinking that maybe he simply doesn't need to know it because you know he's never gonna get PCOD so guys you might have a friend a colleague a sister okay or someone in your family someone in your social circle maybe your girlfriend your wife uh, you guys need to be educated a little okay so don't just shrug off that it's not a male disease and we are not gonna get you know get to know more about it okay so PCOD polycystic ovary disease what happens is small fluid filled sac uh, you know they they form on the top of the ovaries the female ovaries uh, they are filled with fluid and they interrupt the normal hormones of the female okay now female body is not supposed to have too much of testosterone testosterone is a male dominant hormone but with, but there is just a minute amount of testosterone in a female body also so when that amount increases due to PCOD uh, the whole female hormone cycle gets disrupted and what will be the resultant number one menstruation cycle problems either the cycle will be too long too short okay or maybe once in just two months maybe okay so another issue is with male pattern baldness okay they will start losing a lot of hair from their head and or they can start having a problem with facial hair under the chin okay or on the sideburns uh, which is not supposed to happen acne is another problem and too much of oily skin is another problem and last but not the least the most dangerous one is weight gain okay females start gaining weight when they are uh, suffering due to PCOD the problem is 10 to 15 percent of the women suffer from PCOD in our country uh, but social stigma or people are not aware about, about it so they you know continue to get stuff and a PCOD will not only affect your body will not only affect on your hormone cycles it is a mental stress and mental stress is never good it's a mental issue along with a physical one when you are under so much stress imagine imagine someone trying to conceive a child if your menstrual cycle is not normal how are you even going to conceive okay so the very important thing here is to take professional help now when someone suffering from PCOD goes to a gynecologist or any other doctor the worst thing that they can do for that patient is that doctor can do for that patient is uh, start giving them metamorphin okay metamorphin is a drug that is used by diabetic patients to improve their insulin sensitivity why are we giving metamorphin a diabetic medicine to a non-diabetic person to a person that is suffering from an entirely different disease the logic behind here is they say when you're suffering from PCOD you have high levels of insulin and that's why you're gaining weight but wait a minute there are so many other ways in which you can lower or stabilize your insulin levels I mean you do not have to take a diabetic medicine even if you're if you're non diabetic or you're suffering from an entirely different disease imagine someone taking a cancer medicine uh, while by he does not even have cancer imagine what is that going to do to his body okay so ladies if 
anyone who's watching this video if you are suffering from PCOD and you are having any medicine you know that is given to you by the doctor that says it will control or it will improve your insulin sensitivity those medicines are meant to be used by diabetic patients not PCOD patients okay doctors stop giving metformin to PCOD patients it's a request okay and uh, anyone who's having a medicine they should immediately stop taking that medicine and even i suggest you just change your gynecologist for a while okay the, the, the person is actually misguiding you okay so what can we do number one uh, just losing some extra weight is going to correct your pcod problem okay it is as simple as that no medicine no nothing only weight loss is your way out of PCOD. I personally know a lot of people, okay, uh, who are suffering from PCOD and once the weight is gone, the extra weight is gone, everything starts getting normal. Their hormones start to balance up, the menstrual cycle, uh, it syncs up, okay, and everything gets back to normal until they keep that weight off permanently. If you gain that weight back again the problems will come again up all right so what is uh, now just imagine someone who is confused one who is not sure uh, that she is suffering from PCOD or not so there are some symptoms the I've already told weight gain male pattern baldness irregular menstrual cycles and um, facial hair or acne or oily skin so these are your symptoms to confirm them you need to get a blood test uh, for which it will check the testosterone level of your blood okay if that is high you need to go for an ultrasound in that ultrasound the picture will be clear even uh, if you are having those cysts fluid filled sacs uh, upon the ovaries or not okay so this is something that has to be dealt with absolute urgency okay you do not want to neglect your health and the most simple solution just imagine how simple the solution is lose some weight now why people are unsuccessful um, in PCOD to lose weight because of stress because of hormonal imbalance okay and when you start gaining weight again then it has a effect a negative effect on your liver also liver is the most important thing when you want to lose weight so people actually don't know how to lose weight in a healthy in a healthy way PCOD sufferers they need to be active eat healthy and of course if you cannot do it on your own please seek help of a professional go to a dietitian of your convenience go to a nutritionist of your convenience or you have erudite nutrition to help you all the time all right you guys can contact me and uh, we can discuss about it okay so thank you very much if you like the video I request you guys to please share it and uh, maybe we could help someone again spread the word that's my motto okay so I'll see you guys next time and if you have not yet follow me on Instagram or like my page on Facebook Erudine Nutrition you guys need to do that ASAP and uh, thank you all for your time have a blessed day have a blessed day eat healthy exercise sleep well live a stress-free healthy life people all right I'll see you next time this is your nutritionist on the go Kamaldeep Singh Ajla. take care